Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing. Um, I've been on site pretty regularly over the past few weeks, uh, some of my clients, and when I set up and, and go to work, I typically have two monitors. Now today I want to talk about some settings within the frame of, in this case, NX. As you can see, I have my uh, part navigator over here on the right. The reason why it's on the right is because what you don't see is to the right, I have a second screen, and I typically work on dual monitors because it's good. And the dual monitor that I have over here is much larger than the one over here. And in this case, I didn't feel like switching everything around. Um, what I typically do is I work with NX on my larger screen and display on my uh, smaller screen here on my laptop is what I'm recording on because it's a, a standard size for a video. Uh, the other one is an, is an ultra wide, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't scale well when I put it into a video. So I'm recording here. Now, uh, that being said, uh, the way I typically like to work is when I go through and, and set my screen up and I'm doing actual work is to take my part navigator or my trees, my resource bar, and move them to the other screen. And I'm not talking about doing one of these fancy jobs where you grab the edge and move it off to the other screen. I'm talking about actual capability here. So if I go up to this upper corner here, the part navigator, and I click on this little button, you'll notice it says resource bar. And right now it's displayed on the right. I have several settings. I can say display on the left. That's where I typically work with it. And again, it's on the bigger screen. And then the other thing that I do is I have uh, I make use of what's called overlap on second monitor. But because my other screen is on the other side, I'm going to take this back to the right side, and then I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say overlap on second monitor. And what ends up happening is you can't see it, but my tree now is docked on my second monitor. And because it's set to overlap, it just sits over the top of whatever window is uh, open on the other screen. So it's just like a typical window. If something's on top of it. Uh, the other one is kind of cut off. Another option that I have, and let me bring this back, display on the right. Another option that I have is what's called dock on second monitor. And what this does is it'll actually resize everything on the other screen to fit accordingly because I'm docking this in the other window. So it's no longer overlap. So when I do that again, it moves it off. So I have my tree all on one side. Everything is there. It's beautiful. I now I have full usage of my screen and I still have uh, usage of whatever's left over on the other screen for my emails and things of that nature. So it's a great way to work. Like, like I said, in this case, my tree is up. It's open. Full access to it. And now my my actual work area, excuse me, is uh, totally maximized. So it's a great little hint. And when I did this at, at uh, my client site, a couple of people were watching me. And they're like, oh, what's that? And I figured I'd make a video about it to show basically how I actually work. So uh, if you want to play around with that setting, if you have two screens, uh, then go ahead and dock your tree or part navigator on another screen. Great little tool. Fantastic little hint. And it works for all of these as well. Um, and sometimes what I will do, I'll say dock it on the other screen. And so if I need to use my uh, assembly navigator, I can undock that and pull this off. And, you know, I can move it off to the side here. Something like that. Let me go ahead and resize it. There we go. So over here, I've got my part navigator. Over here, I've got my assembly navigator. That way, I can work with both navigators as need be, quick and easy. You can also move this down to the bottom. Uh, some people like to move that down to the bottom like that because you, you have a lot of information as far as reference sets, how many instances counts, what's the status of the part, so on. So there's, uh, again, this maximizes your uh, assembly navigator screen. So for those of you who do like to work with your navigator on the bottom, you have that ability now and you maximize your design screen as well. So if I just close this, it just docks it, puts it back over on the, the, the little ribbon on the side. So you can do that for all of them. But again, this is the way that I like to work to maximize my screen if you have dual screens. Um, good little hint. Hope you liked it. Uh, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. 
And like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thanks.